The Cuban government thwarted planned protests for freedom on the island today, but that did not stop many Cuban Americans in the Bay Area from making their voices heard. Nico Clemens live along Dale Mabry, where protesters spent several hours today. Nico. Hey, Keith Jennifer, we've known since July at least when Cuban Americans want to protest and demand freedom for Cuba, they come right here to this spot. Dale Mabry in Columbus, they took over this intersection earlier tonight. They demanded, again, calls for change and freedom in Cuba. It's, it's a call and cry they've been doing for the last several months now. They just want the world to hear them out. Arriba! Chance for change. Months after anti-government protests in Cuba and here in the Bay Area, Cuban Americans continue to stand in solidarity with people on the island, with protests happening Monday night in Tampa. They're still demanding freedom from the more than 60-year-old dictatorship on the island. The message has been always been freedom. No needles, no the end of the embargo. Danette Rodriguez was one of many people protesting along Dale Mabry. She was born in Cuba and moved to the U.S. when she was 21. I have a lot of people in Cuba because the entire country is my family and I keep it in my heart. Rodriguez says the messages she's received from family and friends are tough to hear. They're very scared. They'll be calling me and telling me they really do. They want to go outside the streets, but they know the Cuban army has been taking the streets. And it's really hard when you feel you want to do it. Because you know you will be repressed. On Monday, police and security prevented activists from leaving their homes in Cuba after the Cuban government warned they wouldn't allow the demonstrations to happen. Governor Ron DeSantis and other leaders across the state are also showing their support for Cubans who are fighting for freedom. The state of Florida stands behind uh, those folks who want their voice heard, who want freedom. Many like Rodriguez say the support is a step in the right direction, but it's not enough. And that's why they're here and making their voices heard. They deserve to be free. And the protest also happened today as Cuba reopened its doors to tourists after more than a year. Live in Tampa, I'm Nico Clemente on your side.